Yo ho, it's Megan the Colorful Pirate, and here is part two of my haul that I filmed um, last week. And I hope that you enjoy <laughs> another Coloring Heaven um, Fantasy Mushrooms. Yeah, this one, uh, I don't know. This, this feels like AI to me. Some of it does. I'm just, I don't know. I know not every issue is supposed to appeal to everybody. There's some cute pictures in here, but overall, just feels like a hodgepodge of cheap. Well, he has a Laney Dow, which I'm still not 100% sure on the nature of that artist. Those are cute. There isn't, they do have a style though, so. And I've got a couple of her, his or her books. Alright. Uh, saw this on Doodle Robots and just knew I had to have it. She's doing, Doodle Robots doing some really cool stuff already in this book. And when I got it in the mail, I forgot how cool it was. <laughs> um, just absolutely love that there's, like... Um, I love every page. There's not a page in here that I don't want to play. I love this. This one Doodle's working on. I love this. The, the kiss. I, I also got a, uh, diamond painting. My first diamond painting, uh, that's a version of the kiss. And there's a one in the creative cats that I want to do as well. I love it. I love it. I love when they do versions of art in a coloring book. Um, but yeah. Oh my God. I love this. I love the line work. I love the um, iconography. Is that the right word? Feels slightly religious, but like in a tongue-in-cheek kind of way. I don't know if religious is the right word. I mean, it's definitely pagan vibing. Midsummer. <sighs> I feel like I've been talking for a while. Um, and then what's cool is you get the, uh, her version of each page. You know, you can kind of get some inspiration for that. Like, there was one page in here that I just was like, yeah, this one. The line art of that is, um, intimidating. <laughs> but seeing her version of it makes it make sense. So that's by Duchess of Lore. Uh, I got Mystery Mosaics, Unicorns and Mermaids. Uh, I've been This has been on my wish list for a while, so I decided to go ahead and get it. You know me. These, this kind of stuff, this mystery square stuff, uh, is great when I'm feeling really anxious. Like, something about it just turns that part of my brain off, and I just... Gotta find where the line is between the numbers, and I gotta color it in smooth. I don't know. It's just... <laughs> uh, so, yeah. If you deal with anxiety, and even coloring gives you anxiety, try these kind of books. Okay, now on to... So, that was all um, February. February books. So, then March. from my tax return so uh one thing i got was the color of treasures by nicolette de la Frey. de la de, de la Frey. um she has those like color dreams of autumn or um color of dreams color of autumn which i like the autumn one a little bit too um but this one was this one came out i liked it a lot and she's offering them now on um amazon so if you're not that upset about paper quality. I just thought that a lot of these designs were really cute. And you know me. I'm sure that there's some pirate stuff in here. And dragon stuff. Because all treasures. And look at those cute weird kitty cat fairy things. So yeah. Yep. Pirate lady. Maybe she can be my new 
profile photo if I color in. This, I love this. This dog, dragon, bat thing in a crown. <sighs> yep. I did, um, right, I did another Dover. Uh, and I, this time I used my last um, rewards thing because, man, I'm running out of books that I want from Dover. I mean, there's still more that I could buy. I mean, I could buy all of them if, <laughs> uh, but I don't. I don't need to. But if they're gonna give me twenty five dollars to spend because I've already spent, then I need to spend it. So I got um, Marika Zotino's Birds of Paradise. Um, it's two sided. It's not a regular Creative Haven book, but I have a lot of this, uh, this artist's other books, like their Cat Mandalas and the Sabbats, um, that I got before there were English versions available. I think again, birds. A lot of birds. A lot of birds. This these this all. Um. Yep. Birds, birds, and birds. Butterfly mandalas, slightly related to birds. Um, this is Joe Taylor. I did one of her, I did a crab mandala of hers that was really fun. So I was like, oh wait, that was birds and butterflies. So I thought, why not? Let's get some more. More animal mandalas, birds. Is there even a butterfly in there? Yeah. Whoa, that one's trippy. Peacock feather with... There's the butterfly. Elegant Designs of the Ages by Moira Allen. This one is... Um, this is another one that has some info in the side. Uh, some of the artwork is a little... Uh, shaky, I guess would be the term, but... You ever just like stare at the tile in a bathroom in a fancy place or like I used to go visit my dad in Vegas as a kid and man the carpets and the tiles and all the just patterns I just love looking at all of it and like you look at some of those crazy tile patterns where different shapes emerge so I had my eye on this book for a while like this if they were all pushed together you'd start seeing anyway things that made me interested in cognitive perceptual things as a kid 2017 uh cats by marty noble this one was is one of her older ones as well 2019 not that old but yeah cats cat Ah, oh, they're so cute. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Alright, yep, this is cats. Um, oh, and speaking of the tile designs, I also got this Arabic floral patterns coloring book by Nick Crossling. Okay. This is a Dover version, so it's two-sided. That's okay, we'll make it work. Um... It's not so thin that you can see through it, so that's that's good. But yeah, some pretty cool stuff in here. Infinite Illusions, John Wick. I have a couple more of his coloring books. This one, oh goodness, goes all the way to the edge. <laughs> I guess that's the infinite part. Oh man. All of the... Are they all... Are all Creative Haven books perforated? Have I just not ever really registered that before? Twenty sixteen. Well, let's see. Marjorie Sarnat. Yes. I guess they probably are, but they're not as poorly done as that one. This is a uh, Best Dressed Pets. <laughs> this is... 
absolutely ridiculous book. Um, these poor animals. <laughs> oh, that would have been good for, for how do you say? Oh, I love this. <laughs> this one cracks me up. This is it a corgi? It looks like a corgi, right? With this little, little Renaissance outfit on. Okay, I got the um, new Hannah Carlson book, Tales from Atlantis. This is one of those ones when I first saw it, I wasn't sure I wanted it. I don't know why. Um, maybe I was in a I'm broke and can't buy any more coloring books phase that I was in for a bit that I need to be going back into now that I've spent um, what money I could from my tax return. Um, but yeah, now that I have it, I love it. And I had so much fun during the buddy color. Uh, I need to get the Daydreams buddy color that I remembered. I really like coloring this stuff. So I love this. It looks like Athena. She was my favorite goddess in school. Well, like in sixth grade when I learned about it all. That's cool. Enchanted Galaxies. Uh, it's dirty. It's got all over my. What is that? Maybe the. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's on the outside. Uh, Enchanted Galaxies. This is an interesting book that I saw. I don't know where, but I thought it looked cool. You don't get too many sci fi books. Um, and this is a whole bunch of them. There are some, <laughs> you get a kitty cat and a rocket. Uh, there are some double-sided, but, or two-page spreads, but they are printed without anything on the back. So they are one-sided. Just super cute. Um. <laughs> Alien Worlds. <laughs> really, this is like the worst Amazon paper, so keep that in mind. This is very thin. I <laughs> it's so weird. Love it. Um, it's very unique, I think. It's very cute and original. Um, alien ideas. Oh, that's cool. So that's by um, Alexandra Zakara Zakara Chorus. She had a couple other books. I thought this one was cute. It's, it's, it was newly released. Um, and let's see. I added to my ridiculous Camellia Andrew Cuba collection. <laughs> Um, I didn't have the Springtime Mandala's book, and I have this, you know, this mental goal of coloring each season in each one of these books, and I, I don't um, do it. This is a lot of Easter, though, <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. What is this? Are those eggs, or are those holes? Is this some sort of bread? Oh, there's bunnies, so I'm guessing they're eggs. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, this is something that is not in my culture. If you know what it is, I would love to know. Um, 50 spring miniatures. Yeah, is it, is it just me or... Well, I don't want to dig it out. It feels like nowadays... The, the character, the little, the cute little creature, is like taking up the vast majority of the picture. Where she used to do this more of a scene. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. At this point, I'm feeling a little bit delirious. <laughs> uh, Christmas mandalas. 
I've been seeing Grumble Bunny do such great work in this, and I love the Halloween mandalas, so I went ahead and got this one. I feel like this is her only square book. And I wish she would do this with all of her mandala books, because it just feels better, man. And 50 snowflakes to color. Also, I think because of Grumble Bunny and her lovely work coloring in these. They're really cool, though. Okay, last stash. <laughs> This is three and a half months worth of coloring books, okay, y'all? Um, Midwinter Magic by Paper Cloth Studios, Paper and Cloth, colored by Maya, brought this to our attention. And I got it used. Um, nice paper, stitch bound. These are such nice books. They're out of, out of print, though. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice there's a ship here. Whatever all this is. But lots of fun to be had in this. I love... Oh, it's so cute. There's a lot of just really cute stuff. So yeah, there was a little bit. A little bit colored, I think. Yeah, a little bit. I could work with that. Maya is an inspiration to the way she just immediately jumps into um, used books to make the colored in ones her own. This one's cool. Just trying to figure out what all of it is is, is half the fun. And then, you know, you get to choose. You get to make it up. You don't always have to be told exactly what something is. That's, you know, you, you get to decide. Sometimes you choose wrong, and that's okay. Um, another somewhat related one inspired by Doodle again. Midnight Forest. You have to get this in Hobby Lobby. Um... Just really cool. I think she's got a flip through. Patterned animal creatures and trees. It would have been cool if as Midnight Forest um, they'd actually blacked out all the backgrounds, but what do I know? Uh, let's see. I did a little bit of oh Ooh, ooh, ooh. This one. Oh my god. Art Nouveau Patterns by Marty Noble. What year is this? Because 2013. Okay, this is out of print. Like, hard out of print. And I never even see it come up used. And I did one day. And I got it for, like, cheap. And I was so shocked. Um, it had the one page colored and pulled out, so... It is so sad. Like, what happened? You had, you were, you were almost there. You'd done everything. But the last little bit, you just said, nope. Or what happened? What's the story? You know, I want to know what the story is. Anyway, um, it seems to be the only page taken out of it. And that's okay if it's not. This is a gorgeous book. Hard to get. Um, of all of her Art Nouveau quote-unquote books, this has the most vibe that is in the correct Art Nouveau. Like this. I'm just, I'm in love with this book. Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous work. Um, so happy to have that. Let's see, some of her example colorings are very vi vibrant. I said, I said vibrant. Bright and vibrant. Vibrant. Okay. Um, so I did some shopping at uh, Half Price Books because I was also buying puzzles. Um, and 
I found this book, which I think is usually a lot more expensive and or um, just harder to get. I don't know. Uh, Alphonse Muka, Make Your Own Art Masterpieces. And this one, I love this one. They had another one in there that was just Art Nouveau. I think from a different artist representations that were not very good. And then I saw this in a different part of the store and snatched that up so fast. These are very true to the original renditions. And I love that they give you just a hint. Just a hint of what you can do with it. No colored in at all. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, were there? No, there weren't color versions in here. Uh, that's by Flame Tree. David Jones and Daisy Seal. Uh, this is just kind of picked up on a whim. Um, because I like skulls and Day of the Dead stuff and the sticker books are fun. I did not realize at the time that this was not sticker by number. This is figure it out yourself. <laughs> so that's cool. I think that that's kind of fun, actually. Um, so it tells you what page the stickers are on. So 68. So these stickers go on this page. And you have to match this, I'm assuming. So that should be quite interesting. A bit, a bit more on the... Uh, oh, then you get more... Of the solutions? Uh, yeah, okay, well, cool. And the Enchanted Color by Enchanted World Color by Numbers. This is also David Wolf, isn't it? it it's designed like one from David Wolf. Natalie Ortega and Sarah Storino, which it's a serious one. That's right, serious is the that does several different authors. Um, I've been looking at this one online for a long time too. Uh, not um I usually like the ones that are kind of hard to tell what it's going to be or like how it's going to turn out. But these I still feel are sufficiently complex. I mean, I don't, this feels a little bit more like a two faxis, I guess. Uh, like a simpler two faxis, maybe. We'll just see how they look when they're done. Um, but I love the fantasy. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the fantasy elements of this one. So here's some of the answers here. I'm glad that I got that too on, on sale. Um, Alright. I got a million baby animals and um, <laughs> I ordered a million kawaii creatures thinking I was ordering this and it was 100% my fault so I did not send it back. It is also in the pile of books that I'm going to give away. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, Million Baby Animals, this one is Lulu Mayo's newest one, it's super cute, it's a little too cute for my taste, but there were a couple in here that, um, I don't even remember exactly what they were, like, I love this, with this little, this little monster outfit on, um, there was something. There was one in here that I was like, okay, wait, no, I need to have the otters. There was an otter page, right? Oh, this one? Okay. I love it. So cute. And then there's an otters page. If I don't find it on the first... There. Look at I love otters so much. I love going to the zoo, and I remember one of my earliest memories is doing my finger on the glass, and it would follow my finger, because they're so curious and playful. Um, they're just brown though, so it's a little hard to color for me. I still need to learn how to work with brown. Um, and finally, I got a little inspired by, um, I'm, I guess it is, uh, Elm Colors. I know, I, I know I went and referred to one of her, her videos, um, of all these O'Leary Fowler books, and I ended up ordering a bunch of them used. Uh, <laughs> all of them, actually, I think I have. So, Joyous Blooms to Color. Um, I just, I love, yeah, this is, this is a little banged up in the corner, but who cares? Um, 
I love the nature quotes and the nature pictures. Um, some of these elm colors, you gotta go see her her flip through of pages that she's done. Oh yeah, cause she she did some cute uh, Valentine's Day ones. It reminded me that I wanted these books, um, but they are out of print. I was able to find a couple still new, I guess. Uh, but I think most of these I ordered used. There are some overlaps I've noticed. Um, not a whole lot between the books, but that's Joyce Bloom's the color. You know, it's a little a little beat up. I, were there any? I don't think there's any colored pages in there. Um, bold springtime to color. <coughs> This one I really liked. Um, spring theme. Animal mandalas. Just a lot of stuff I like. Um, but like this one especially, I just saw two or three of them that I know are in the other books. So maybe this was the latest one that kind of got a bit regurgitated. But, you know, when did these come out? 2017. I just bought a ton of 2017 books, didn't I? Um, Words of Love to Color. This is the one that Elm had colored in. I think this one was new. It looks new. It feels new. Um, this is cute. That's so cute. Uh, got Edgar Allan Poe quotes in it. I mean, come on. Who loved with a love that was more than love? Okay. Pretty deep. Lots of hearts. Um, yeah. And then the uh, my mother, my heart. Um, I'm a mother, so it speaks to me on some level. I got two copies because uh, they sold me this one. And thrift books is good about this. Okay. I mean, they're bad about it, but they're good about it because they are bad about sending out books that they say are like very good condition and then you get it and it's like like so many like there's a lot colored in this y'all this is not a very good book like if there's this much colored it's not in very good condition especially not when it's colored like that this is fair at best, almost acceptable. Um, so I told them and they said, don't worry about it. We'll send you another copy. And I said, okay. And they sent me another used copy. And this one is much cleaner. There's only one or two pages with any coloring on it. Um, yeah, like this. this, this is fine. That's fine. I don't need, to color every book every page in every book um, yeah this I could work with Got a little bit of transfer there but that's about it that was colored in here so you know I, I for what do you pay four or five dollars for um these used ones. It's okay. So yeah, so that's it. That is a lot of books. Now that I've gone through them and talked for this long, I realize how much that is. But it, again, three and a half months, okay? In my defense, it was three and a half months. Um, so yeah, things will be slowing down a little bit more now. I think, um, you know, we got, we had to spend the tax return on some big ticket item stuff, like my AC in my car, uh, which you ever notice? That nothing goes wrong with your car until you have money. I mean, I guess I should be thankful that my car waited until I literally had my tax return to be like, oh, guess what? Your AC is not going to work anymore. Um, so there's that. I guess I should be thankful. <laughs> uh, so yeah, may your coloring cart be full of everything that you've ever wanted. And I will see you in the next video.